Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Open Scad. Yay! Fan shapes and stuff. Yay! Today's episode's all about parameters and parametric stuffy stuff stuff and awesomenesses. Let's get on to the awesomenesses, huh? Yeah, awesomenesses. So. You're going to start out with just some standard parameters. Now, parameters are basically words that mean numbers. You write them up here, preferably in the parameters section, if you're using this little thing I showed you in the first episode. Yeah, this, this thingy-mabobber right here. It's, it's actually really helpful. But you put your parameters in, and let's say we want a certain height that we want all our stuff to be. And let's say that height is 20 millimeters. Is it? You just made a parameter. It's really simple. Now to use it, let's do something like cylinder, cylinder, and height. Just type in height, comma, and then you know what? Let's do another one. Radius equals 15. You ready for this? Ready? Ready? Rad radius, radius, and radius, and close off the line. And hey, look at that! We have a cylinder, and it's actually 15 millimeters in radius and 20 millimeters in height. And what's this? Change that number, and now the cylinder is 50 millimeters in height. Isn't that cool? But you know what the best part is? The best part is, is that it works on every shape. Just literally every single shape. So let's say we also want a cube that's that height. So let's see, cube. Let's do, let's do length and width for the cube. Length. Did I spell that right? Yeah, yeah, I spelled that right. 30. Length and width for the cube. Uh, 10. 10. 10 to 10, 10. And then, let's say our width is X. X. Wait, wait, wait. Dur, dur, dur. Our width is width. That just happens to be on the X axis. I epic fail. Actually, I have more epic derp, but oh well. Length and height. 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 Height, 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 there, there, no, no, height, there we go, there we go, and I forgot my brackets, need our brackets, brackets is awesomeness, and see, and now we F5, and now I have a cube, use our, some of our debugging tools from the first episode, now we have a cube that is length by width by height, and we change our length value, and the cube gets longer. But, even better, if we bring our cylinder back, we change our height value to, let's say, 100, and they both get bigger to together. Hey, that looks like a whistle. That looks like a whistle. It's very whistly. Okay, anyway, it, it looks like a whistle, right? Tell, tell me if I'm crazy, like in the comments or something. Because I've been known to be crazy, but I think that looks like a whistle. Anyways, uh, we can also do this with really cool stuff, like like the, 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 the transformations. We learned a couple times ago. I don't know how many times ago. I think that was two. Tran... Not... Yeah, translate. Let's translate it. And we can translate this over by... Let's see. Radius. And... Um, width. Width. And... High length. We haven't used length in anything else yet. Length, length, 
Uh, hey, and look at that! It moves! And we change length value to say 40. And it moves, it moves more because length, the uh, Z, changed. And it gets longer. It's easy, easy. Let's, let's change it to 20 now. Isn't that cool? And this works literally anywhere you can put a number. Anywhere you want. And you can even reference other uh, parameters in your parameters. So let's say we want the width to be half the length. So length, just put in length divided by 2. And now your width is half your length. And you can change your length to 40. And it's still half, 60, 80. It's easy. But in case you're wondering if this is the only kind of parameter we can have, there's also two others. But one has to do with animation, and it's really complicated, and I'll get into it in a later episode. But the next one that we can go over now tell, defines how spherical your spheres and cylinders are, basically. What is you do dollar sign? F N, and that stands for fractional number. N number. There you go. Fractional. Wrong <coughs> <coughs> pipe. Fractional number, and that mean. My voice just cracked. Can I talk today? I would like to get through this. Anyway, fractional number. It means that basically, however many. Whatever number you have after this is how many sides your cylinder or sphere, respectively, is going to be made out of. So if we put in three, we get a triangle. Oh, triangular prism. I say it's a triangle. And I know I'm not crazy there. We put in four, and it's another way to make a cube. Yay, my friend's back. We got a cube. But even better, we put in two, and it's the most square square we've ever seen on the square show. Wait, this, since when was this a square show? It's very square. And you can't really do much with it, though. And you put in one, it just kind of disappears. So, I, I don't usually go below three, but three has many, many uses for whenever you need a triangle. Although I usually end up, like, holding... A cube here, and a cube here, and a cube here. But anyway, triangle. Yeah. And you can even reference these kinds of parameters down here in your FN. Like uh, radius. 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 Yeah. And now we have a fractional number equal to radius. So we change radius. And now it gets smaller. And smaller number. It's actually really helpful when you have, like, gigantic projects that are all spherical and cylindrical and stuff and take forever to render and you don't want to make, like, 50 million little tiny renders for teeny tiny, like, infinitesimally one millimeter small, um, the cylinders. Because it's just, it's not cool to have to render that. So, I guess it's project time. What can we project out of this? What shall we project? Shall we project... You know what? We should make our camera parametric. So let's see, go up to file, open, do 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 camera. Whoa! Uh, this card. There, see, we got a camera. We got a camera. Let's make our camera parametric. So, let's see. Body. Body. Width. That's the one we're going to need. Width. Width equals, uh, do. Do, do. Silver, 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 silver. Width is 20 currently. 20. I'm going to need body height. Body height, he I get. 
Heath. Heath. Buddy Heath is currently 30. Number 30 Heath. And Body Length. Body Length is 50. So now we change this around to body length, length, and body height, 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 why do I keep putting height, height is not a word, body width, there we go, whoa, uh, what'd I do? Oh, okay. I switched height and width. I see now. I sees it. And we paste. With the height. Cut. Don't you just love cut and paste? I can not imagine what I'd do without cut and paste. So now, we have that all set up. We also have our... Um... Uh, and, mm, what's it called? What's it called again? Button. It's a button. That's what it's called. We can translate our button, make that parametric. So let's see. Um, that is Y10. So that's half body width. So we can do body width divided by 2. And that doesn't change any. Then 30, that just body height. Body height. Hey, I didn't spell it wrong this time. Sweet. And now 17.5. Yeah, I'm sure you probably know this already, but I had math failed last time. So, I'm sorry. But anyway... I think that's more of uh, not half, but 1.5th. Is that a word? Is that a word? Anyway, body length. Lang it! Lang it! Now I'm spelling length wrong. So what about 1.5? Please don't move. Oh, you moved. Ugh. 2? 2.5? 2.25? No, 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 no. 2.75. Oh, so close. Let's try 3. Hey, it's 3. Body length divided by 3. Sweet. And now I'm going to translate, translate this 15, which is body height. Body height. Just stay with me. I know it's kind of boring. But you'll see just how awesome it is now. Body height divided by 2, not 23, 2. And you know what? We're going to need a variable for that. So we can actually put bracket things, like, like their scale down here, in a variable itself. So let's do button scale. Scale equals. And then we can just... I am burpy today. And we can just cut that out, paste it in. Got to make sure you have the brackets here. That's really important. You got to have the brackets, and then close it off just like normal. And then we put in here, button, scale, and F5. And it stays the same, because it's the same numbers. Isn't that cool? And negative 25. Five, uh, that's half body length. So, negative body length divided by 2 at 5. And now I think we have this all nice and parametric. So let's show... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? He... I don't think so. It's just kind of want to just put everything parametric. Let's see, that's body width, and this is half body width. 
So, copy, paste, divided by two. And then let's make this paste. Um, divide by four times three. I think that'll get us four thirds. Correct? No, no, it'll get us three fourths. Ah, whoa. Three fourths was funny. Anyway, so now we play around with this, make the body width 40. Hey, look at that! Cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's so fun. So much fun, so much fun. Although I kind of want to make that parametric off the body height. You know what? Let's just do it. Height. Hey, that actually looks better. And then let's make the body height 50. Ooh, coolness. Coolness. It's like old style camera now. Like, like way, way back when. Now body length 100. It's easy, easy. It's all staying pretty much the same. Just different scales. Then we can play around with our button. Make our button like two. There, see? Now our button's different, and let's say we want it taller. It's four. That's a really tall button. I don't want that tall button. Point four. Ha ha. Now it's back to button. This is. Let's make this one four. You see how this is so much fun? And you can actually use it practically too, but um, that like takes a long time, and I'm already running out of video. But it's fun. It's fun, and we make a really dorky looking camera. Really, really dorky looking camera. So, let's see. In our dorky looking camera makings, see, see, dorky camera, we went over, oh wait, we got the dollar sign thingy. Dollar sign FN equals, I want a cube. Can you semicolon? There we go, that looks awesome, this is. That looks really cool, actually. It looks nothing like a camera, but it looks really cool. Oh, and you see, see, it works on the 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 the, the, the sphere too. So let's say we made that 150. Now the sphere looks really nice and button-like, all smooth and everything. And so is the, the cylinder. We make that like five, and it's all pentagonal. That's really cool. It, it looks almost like like a badge or something. So, we went over parameters, like, whatever, they, they really can be called whatever you want them to be called, anything. Although, one thing I should mention, do not put spaces in there. I don't know why, but the majority of the time, it just doesn't like spaces. So spaces are a big no-no. I like to put this little underscore here. You can get it by, by like, you push shift, and then the little button next to the plus sign that's not backspace. Yeah, yeah, push that with shift down, you get underscore. It looks like a space, but doesn't make the computer go, ah, random stuff, I don't know. So, anyway, parameters, how to use them, and that they can, whoa. Now I'm just messing up my code. Oh, this is kind of fun, actually. So we went over parameters and and how to use parameters and different uh, circular parameters and stuff. And let's just see how bad this error is. The last thing to do. <laughs> Color blue. <laughs> Still blue. Okay. <laughs> Bye.